going on everybody welcome back to RC car garage and it's been a little while since I made a video um, I have been doing a couple things on the enduro 24 from the um, build off with uh, CCXRC and uh, RC Amigos so I did a couple things I've changed a couple things let's just say there's still more that I want to do do to it but um I haven't gotten there yet <laughs> I changed one I changed the one big huge major thing that I changed on it and I am super 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 excited to show this to you guys um, took me a little while to figure out how to do it but I finally got it it is not 100% done there's still a little, little tweaking that I do have to do uh, to make it right instead of me just blabbling on uh, let me just show you guys what I'm talking about so I do have <coughs> the camera cover for right now now this is what the Enduro 24 was supposed to look like the day of but it didn't so here we go boom here we go guys this right here is what the Enduro 24 from the build off looks like now. Here's the tires that I took off and this is what it looks like now. Alright, so let's go ahead, let me go ahead and show you guys what I did to get this body to work on the Enduro 24 chassis. So, the first thing that you guys see here was I put a wing on the back, downforce, <laughs> just downforce, and um, I found this body at my local thrift store. And I decided I was going to use this for something else, uh, but I decided, you know what, let me use it for this. The main reason why I chose to use the F-150 body was because, let's, uh, let's, let's do this. Alright, so the main reason why I did that, uh, there we go, was because of this. So let's open her up here, if I can. Alright. So, as you guys can see, it is on a hinge system that I made myself. So, these black parts that are in here, these two black pieces, this one and that one right there, they are off of a Axial SCX-10 Gen 1. These are the links. For the Gen 1 SCX-10, uh, I ended up getting a, um, whatever the hell that one was. I even forget what it was, <laughs> but I got, whatever, it came from, those are from SCX-10-1. Uh, I had these brackets right here, these little aluminum pieces, uh, for another project that I ended up scrapping years ago. So I just decided to use them on here. Luckily, I still had them. Uh, so 
The other thing I did was this whole back piece, uh, I ended up using a battery tray off of a toy grade RC car. Yes, a battery tray off a toy grade RC car. And I basically just uh, glued it in there. Basically just glued it in. It sits almost the same height as the battery tray that came on the Enduro 24. So I ended up back here cutting off the Enduro 24 uh, little lip things here for the battery tray. Cut them off so that the battery that is right here will sit. And I do mean will sit perfectly right in there the hinges and everything do not affect the way the battery sits um it, it, it just this setup right here just fits completely better than it did with the viper body that i had on there uh what i wound up doing on the front here as you guys can see i again i just piece of toy grade plastic uh, toy grade remote control car plastic um, glued it onto the post thanks airplane all right let's let that airplane go away if you guys can see it there he goes there goes the airplane right over there somewhere anyway so grabbed a piece of uh, plastic off of a hobby grade toy grade RC car uh, cut it up put some holes in it to match where the body posts were going put some velcro on here put some velcro on the body right there the big black part piece um, so I ended up doing that with that and I'll tell you guys what this thing the hinge system works 100% no 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 interference at all uh, the one thing I like uh, that I did was since this is a drag and there's another plane going along right up there somewhere so since this is going to be my drag um, Enduro 24 I don't think I'm going to use this chassis for anything else it's strictly just going to be for this I believe having the spoiler on the back just looks absolutely great I love it only thing I did was super glued it in there super glued it right down there and I grabbed some super glue and right back there those two little notches in the back right under there somewhere you guys can see them right there in the center I put some glue there just so we could get glued to the door because obviously this door does not open so without further ado I did change the tires on it as you guys can see these were the tires that I had on it uh, these are just hose reducers a hose reducer for a dishwasher or whatever uh, that goes on to that goes on to a uh, garbage disposal and I just basically cut them it was the same exact size as the SCX 24 wheels cut them to the size of the wheels and put them on but unfortunately that didn't work out all too great so without further ado it is starting to get dark out um i've been meaning to do this video yesterday saturday couldn't do it meant to do it today couldn't do it so now finally i'm able to get this video going uh finally put my daughter down to sleep and everything and i was gonna wait till tomorrow to do the video but i'm like you know what i don't even know what time i'm gonna get home from work so i am going to knock out this video right now so let me hook the battery up to this rig uh turn the charger charger <laughs> get the gps going uh what i want to do is i want to see how fast i can get this thing to go in this setup that we have here so i want to see how fast it's going to go like this uh we already saw how fast it went with these tires which it kept on flipping i think mirrors something's gonna break uh it is what it is mirrors break mirrors break it's hard plastic it's it's a hard body it's not lexan this is actually a hard body so but i think it looks absolutely freaking awesome on here if anybody has 
this Enduro 24 and these types of bodies, awesome. The other thing I wanted to note was that this F-150, if you guys notice right here, it does say FX4. So this is an FX4 package F-150. It's exactly what it is, an FX4 F-150. I kept the all-wheel drive on this. <laughs> I kept this thing all-wheel drive. So, uh, as you guys, I'm not lying to you, I kept this thing all-wheel drive. So here we go. Fronts are up in the air. So I kept the front wheel drive so the body is exactly what the chassis is, it's an FX4. So let me get everything set up and get right back with you guys and we'll see how it does on this setup with these tires. Hopefully this tire, these tires will give me a better, a little better run for the money. Uh, the other thing I have to do is stretch out the, um, the other thing I have to do is extend the wheels back a little further so that they sit perfectly on the body. So let me get this thing going guys. All right, you guys. So I have, as you guys can see, I have the controller on. I have this thing. Hopefully you all can hear it. It is now on, lights on in there and everything. Hopefully you guys can see that. Oh, that's great. Okay. So this thing good. So. <laughs> oh, man. I'm going to have to go see what is going on here. A grub screw probably uh, got loose in there. Um, I'm going to have to check this thing out. Because obviously I hit the trigger here on the remote once I hit the trigger here on the remote I'm actually turning so I put these things backwards steering is the throttle so let me uh, go figure out what is going on with that and um, let me figure out what's going on with that and we'll get back to it all right you guys so I am back and I figured out what happened why it wasn't running and uh, I'm gonna show you a couple things that I also did so here we go here we got it as you guys can see I extended the rear so the wheels match with the uh, rear wheel well there. And I think this thing just looks absolutely freaking great now. I uh, did change the wheels, put these uh, the Enduro wheels back on. Put the Enduro wheels back on. Figured hopefully that will give me the speed and uh, the stability that I need so this thing can get more speed out of it. Yeah, I brought the Gladiator out too. Um... But, as you guys can see, this thing, I think this thing just looks absolutely freaking amazing now. I think this body on here just works perfectly. So, let me show you guys what I wound up doing to get this to where it is now. Flip it here on the side. So, what I wound up doing was these rear links, uh, they got donated. <laughs> These were links got donated from my Easy RC Patriot. Um, the lowers and the upper links. They both got donated from my Easy RC Patriot. And the rear drive shaft there also got donated from my Axial C10. The Axial C10 drive shafts do not fit perfectly on here. They're not a direct swap. What I wound up doing was the yoke right here i switched this yoke out this is a uh this is a uh c10 the axial scx 24 c10 drive shaft i changed out the yoke here and the one in the front there to these stock ones that came on the enduro 24 which work out 
perfectly. Um, so I was able to get that going. Um, I think that's pretty much all I did. The What happened was that piece right in there, the screw, the grub screw in there. Uh, there, there we go. So that's, yeah, that grub screw right there loosened up. So I ended up tightening it up. And that's why I wasn't getting any uh, movement with it. But hopefully now you guys are actually able to see better what uh, what is going on here. So I'm going to open up this cab here. There we go. All right. So as you guys saw, hinge system, my own hinge system. That's how everything is mounted in here. And of course, this still the all wheel drive. So let me get the battery in here. Let me get the battery in here and uh, get this thing going and see what type of speed I can get out of it. All right, guys. So got the battery in there, as you guys can see it right back there got the battery let's uh turn the controller on let's turn the rig on all right let's reverse the throttle the throttle's going backwards go into here Ugh. loading all right we are connected start read 11 miles an hour all right Let's see how this thing runs. Looks like it has better handling. Ah. Oh. And we're back to it again. So, my problem is the grub screw keeps coming out. Keeps loosening up. Even though I, um, <laughs> oh, man. even though I tightened it up, that grub screw there keeps loosening and it's not staying tight onto the motor, as you guys can hear. So now that's kind of annoying me. What I'm going to wind up doing is, um, what I'm actually going to wind up doing is just say screw it. Not something that I really wanted to do, but it's something that I am going to do is I'm going to say screw it and I'm going to put some Loctite on that screw there because you guys can hear it. So that's what I'm going to wind up doing. This is really annoying because it's already the second time that it happened as I'm trying to make a video so gonna go tighten that up get some um, oh man and for some reason I think that battery is not I know it was fully charged uh, let me move you guys down a little bit here all right so I'm looking off of that cam that phone right there so this battery was fully charged and now for some reason it is not don't know what is going on with that um, other than that I think this thing looks bad ass so I am not at home and I don't have any tools with me I know should have should always have tools with me rookie mistake <laughs> um, do not have any tools with me to be able to fix this issue here it seems like it's running healthy and everything but 
it's not running healthy with the drivetrain. I mean, so far it looks like that my modifications here with the uh, drive shaft, the drive shaft here from the C10 and the links, they're working good. So far so good. Um, the upper links from the Patriot are actually a little short. I wish they were a little bit longer. Uh, as you guys can see, the pumpkin is actually facing it's actually cocked upwards, which I kind of don't like it, but it works. So, this is really upsetting me. <laughs> so, in the meantime, I brought out the Gladiator and uh, I'm going to take this thing out and take it for a little rip. So, hope to see you guys soon and we'll have this video of this thing running. Coming up as soon as I can uh, get back home and get the drivetrain figured out. So you guys have a good one and I'll see you guys in another video.